Hello and welcome back to the B-Movie Bunker. Today we are looking at 2013's Bad Milo, brought to us by Jacob Vaughn. Uh, Bad Milo is the story of, we have Duncan, played uh, pretty pretty well by uh, Ken Marino, who uh, has been in lots of stuff. He's, he's a guy you've seen before, if you don't know, and if you haven't seen Party Down, which is a great series he was in, you've got to check it out. Uh, Ken Marino plays kind of a high-stressed, you know, stressed out guy um, who ends up having uh, this little thing, Milo, that uh, when he gets really mad, pops out of his ass and kills people. Um, so, in case you don't know, this is a dark comedy, and there's a lot of butt humor, a fair amount of butt humor in this, and if you're not a big fan of the butt humor, a lot of it's going to be lost in you, but if you can get past that, there is there is a bit more going on in this film, and it's just, it's, it's, it's you know, in a way, it's that whole learning how to control, you know, you know things that that you can control and letting things that you can't control go um, and it's got a really good cast a fun cast and as I said you got Ken Marino who who often plays these kind of you know down on luck or kind of you know bad luck you know hard case kind of guys and he plays that really well this is probably one of the, the better roles I've seen him do uh, his wife played by Jillian Jacobs who if you watch Community um, you've got her you've got some great small cameo roles by Patrick Warburton uh, Stephen Root and I think the highlight of it is going to be uh, Peter Stormare, um, who plays the uh, psychi psychiatrist that uh, Duncan goes to see. Um, Highsmith, I believe, was his name. Um, and Peter Stormare, uh, you probably first recognize him from Fargo, and he's been in a ton of stuff since then. He's he's a good character type actor, and he's just he's really really good in this. Um, like I said, I had fun. There's a little, like as I said, there's there's some of the butt humor. And there's a little bit, you know. A, a, fair amount of gore for a movie of this type, um, but not over the top where I think it's really going to bother people who are a bit squeamish. Maybe maybe it will. I don't know. I didn't find it that gore-filled. Um, but I like the, the Milo is, it's a puppet effect, and I like the puppet, puppet effects. Um, they often don't look that great. This one I thought looked okay. But the thing is, there's just something about the puppet effect versus CG where the CG often, it just looks, it looks too, it's either too poorly done because they didn't have a good enough budget for good CG people, or the CG is so good, it doesn't look real because it looks too perfect and, and, and it's not flawed. And it doesn't fit the actual film because it looks out of place in amongst the real stuff. It looks too out of place. Yeah, the puppet looks out of place too, but I, I'm sorry, I'm a fan of the practical effects, the real effects versus CG when it can work, and it works well in this. I, I liked Milo in this. Um, and I like just the overall story uh, of, you know, Ken learning how to deal with his own life and, and coming, you know, his, he's high stress because he's also a doormat, but it's him coming to terms with who he is and what he has to do and coming to terms with the fact that he's got this, you know, this anger uh, demon living up his ass that will come out and kill people uh, that it feels are threatening him. Fun, I had fun with it. Um, it's not a great movie, but I still think it was a fun movie. On a scale of 1 to 10, um, I'm going to say this is kind of like Gremlins meets a colonoscopy. You know, there, there's rules for, for, you know, for the, the anger demons. You know, they, you know, keep them away from light, um, uh, sh don't get them wet, and, uh, and don't shove them up your ass. Don't shove anger demons up your ass. That's what you can take away from this one, is that anger demons, leave them out of your ass. Don't, don't get them up there, you don't want that. Ending, eh, it went somewhere I expected it to go, and it wasn't necessary, but whatever. Uh, I'm not going to dwell on that. So, like I said, check this one out. I think it was it was a fun, darkish comedy. I didn't laugh a lot, but it it, it still got me, you know, interested enough to, to make me want to watch the whole film. So, that's all I got for this one. Until next time, you all stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.